Good morning, everyone. Uh, I did forget to do a video yesterday, uh, so that's going to be my first thing I talk about, which is when you are developing a new practice, what do you do when you fail? Uh, and my short answer is you keep going and literally don't get mad at yourself. Like step one is don't get mad at yourself understand yourself which is a process that's important on its own when somebody fails you try to understand um at least um you know like there might be natural anger there but like the correct response is not to just like hang on to your anger you know Like, yeah, especially for me, like I, I've, I've learned to try to understand myself and then just keep moving. So, um, yeah, yesterday was a very full day. I worked 10 hours and then went straight to a dinner and then, um, got a little tipsy and so went straight to bed. That's like, who could blame me for that day? Like, where was I going to fit a video in? Um, there are definitely places that I could have, but we keep going. So here I am today, um, I want to talk a little bit about also like why I believe routine is important, why I'm learning it's important, um, and I think it's because choices take a lot of energy. I think that choice making takes more energy than any of us realize and um, if we're constantly, constantly trying to figure out what to do with our time, we will wear ourselves out. Uh, so I know this because there's times where I don't have like any schedule or... Sorry. Um... You know, I have like multiple days at a time with nothing to do. And if I haven't, if I didn't already have some goals in place, um, no objectives or anything, then I actually kind of stress myself out trying to figure out what to do with that time. Um, so what discipline does, what routine does, what having good goals does goals that you believe in is it makes some choices for you and then you don't have to spend the mental calories figuring out what to do it's like oh well you'll just do what you did yesterday i'll just do what you did yesterday do what you did yesterday um you don't have to lie there in bed and be like what is what why am i getting up what do I need to do? It's like, no, you just, you get up and meditate or something. Like if that's the, your discipline that you've been working on is like getting up and meditating, which I'm trying to do on top of these videos. Um, then that's one decision I don't have to make. You get up and you meditate. Now, if your mind is not caught up in trying to make decisions, what is it free to do? It's free to serve you. It's free to be aware and it's free to turn off almost more importantly. Okay. So like, I think that we have awareness. I think that we have consciousness that, um, no matter how hard or easy your mind is working or not working, that the awareness is there, right? You don't have to force awareness in the same way that you don't have to force breathing and my decision is already made and so I'm going to go do the thing my mind can actually take a break or it can work better and or I can just be aware and that is going to ultimately be healthier so I think upon kind of saying all this stuff aloud because I do believe that that um in the interest of letting myself be more aware 
and to conserve energy in a way like I need to dive into routine almost even more so than I am like maybe even into like embracing a weekly type of schedule you know these days are for this these days are for this um you know like Mondays you don't do this <laughs> you know so I'm not having to like so that's a decision already made um you know I don't know I'm I'm trying I'm trying really hard to build a routine that works for me currently it's whiplash I work on the weekends Monday's a weekend or <laughs> I work on the weekends Monday is my day off then I have three days of teaching and then Friday's a day off and then it starts over and we go into the print shop for the weekends so it's like I have like two different small work weeks and then two mini weekends and the two one three one two one three one rhythm is interesting to me it's more interesting than a five-day work week but I'm still having to work on being healthy right now I'm all over the place I'm very up and down very up and down very caught in the currents um which is not so good so i think my goal for myself is make less decisions by making by having like pre-made decisions that's what discipline is i guess discipline is pre-made decisions <laughs> that allow you to make creative decisions within and around those decisions that you already made in the past um so the last time that i'm trying to decide what to do and what is worth my time the more time i can be spending using my time creatively and doing the things that i've already decided to do well does that make sense i hope um another thing i wanted to say on today's daily video is especially re relating to groundedness which I talked about on my last video is part of the reason that I think I was not being grounded is as avoidance I think there's a lot going on right now and we all know there's a lot going on right now but I am not ready to feel all my emotions about what's going on not only what's going on, but like realizations I've made about myself, which are not easy, truths I'm learning about myself, weaknesses that I have. Um, it's kind of all pretty painful, honestly. And the more grounded I am, which really just means like present in what's going on in front of me, present in my body and present in my life and in my narrative, the more painful the feelings are going to be for a little bit. Maybe not even for that long. Maybe just once I feel them, they'll be gone. Um, but uh, I don't feel ready. So it's easier to stay kind of in my head or in my dreams or in in bed not thinking about anything that ungroundedness is a protection against the pains of the world and um yeah pains of my own truths so um i guess that's another encouragement like to myself and then i'll extend to you is like don't put off feeling the things that you need to feel because I think that they're they'll hurt more later <laughs> so sometimes in a weird mean to myself kind of way I almost like let emotions like that build up for a long time and then feel them all at once and something about that is almost satisfying but I think I'd rather just process things as I got to them so that I can be present in the next moment you know, it's going to be harder for me to take in what comes next, what comes tomorrow if I haven't processed 
today by tomorrow? If I'm trying to process today, days from now, how am I supposed to feel tomorrow in any kind of real, authentic, present way? Does that make sense? Uh, so, okay, my encouragement, two of them. One is to pre-make decisions, figure out some routine, some self-discipline, to free up your mind to make creative decisions, creative and fun decisions, um, to take some pressure off yourself. And then the the second encouragement is to find some time today, this very day, <clears throat> to feel everything that you're feeling, no matter how painful. And in order to do that, you might have to consider w where do you feel safe doing that? In what way do you feel safe doing that? Is there a place you go? Is it your car? Is it at your instrument? Is it with somebody else? Or is it completely alone? Is it writing it out? Is it making a video? Is there a certain film or song that gets you in touch with the kind of emotion that you feel like you're trying to feel right now or like you might need to feel right now, etc. That's what I'm going to try to do today in hopes of staying true, staying real, staying grounded. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate every view that has been on these. I know I've had like longer form videos, <laughs> shorter form videos, they're kind of all over the place, but some people are checking in and commenting and I really appreciate that. I hope for more of it. I hope to respond to everything that I can. I'm going to do my best. Um, and please subscribe. If you have any friends that are into like introspection and uh, psychology and uh, personal development, creativity, all of those things um, are things that I'm going to be talking about. Uh, so send them my way or send me their way. <laughs> uh, uh, please like share this these uh, this channel or a video that stood out to you that would be awesome it'd be so much help to me I, if i get to 100 i can change my url <laughs> it's still my old name um and uh apparently they won't let you change it until you get to 100 so that's silly um anyways and then the other thing is uh i wanted to shout out to my patreon supporters uh kaylee harris Brittany maloney and kelsey rockcliffe um right now i have three supporters i'm looking for more for as small as four dollars a month, you can um, get like behind the scenes access to my musical journey. Um, you uh, and there's like in the higher benefits, there's other educational things that you can get from me as well. Um, and so, uh, yeah, if you're interested in being involved in this journey, um, consider joining my pre patreon or sharing my patreon sharing my video thank you to the people that have been supporting me so far it really uh helps every little bit helps so um also let me know if there's certain subjects that you'd like me to talk about um because i will be happy to riff on just about anything even things that i'm not an expert on maybe i can bring some perspectives to it because i do think a lot and um it's fun and I learn things and hopefully you learn things as well when I dive into new topics. So um, I think that's everything. Talk to you later. Have a good day.